Jacob Ullman, whose idea was it for this cool show? WWE backstage yesterday. <laughs> Yes, the talent, the, the Renee Young. No, when we did the deal with WWE, we were always going to do a studio show related to it, and you know, backstage kind of came out of that, but it was always part of the deal. How do you feel so far about how the show has just evolved to kind of life of its own? Yeah, I think it's fun. You know, it, it's 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 to create. A, there's no there's no, no blueprint. There's no weekly wrestling show. So I think it's great how it's evolved, and it's fun to do back here, where this is the first time we've ever done a show in front of a studio audience, and this audience, as you've seen, is you know, a heck of a lot of energy and lots of fun. Whose idea was it for this show? To, to have it down here, or just the general. No, in general. No, uh, there was a group of us that collaborated on it. Um, uh, Brad Weimer is our coordinating producer. Span and Daffrey, who we call Spoon. Uh, Brad Zager, who's our executive producer, and Ben Gross and myself, we all kind of worked on it in tandem and came up with lots of ideas. And uh, it was like about a six-month period where we were just coming up with ideas every day, and it kind of evolved as we got going. What was it like? getting Renee on board and how key was it for the show to have She's her? the only host we ever considered. We didn't audition. It, it was there was a, it was beyond a no-brainer. Um, we're lucky. I, I, I've known her personally for a long time so it wasn't like well she's good on TV but what she likes the person. We already knew. So there was literally no other consideration it's, and you know without her there was no show. I mean, the show's tone is honestly set by her. How do you feel the chemistry with Booker T, with Christian, with Paige, with Renee, and others that you brought in. Yeah, we, uh, honestly, in the first set of auditions, Booker was our guy. And the Booker we get here is different than necessarily the Booker that you've seen on WWE TV. He's, he's got the, uh, you know, he's, he's able to be a little more of himself, and, and it works. And, and Christian is a guy that came in and just blew us away in auditions. And, and Paige, you know, is such a, because of the injury she suffered in the ring, she's really underutilized. I mean, how many people have biopics done on your life that is, are great? The movie's great, by the way, and she's she's wonderful and obviously brings a different energy, and we love having her. And someone that had a movie, and she's so young too. Yes, it's, yes. Just, it's just amazing. Yeah, she's phenomenal. How much input does the talent, such as Renee, Booker, and the crew, and WWE have on the show? The talent's involved. We have production meetings before every show. You know, we kind of workshop workshop ideas and, and see what makes sense for everybody involved and we want it to be what they feel we don't you know we're not it's authentic right it's not it's not what we want them to say it's really what they believe in and, and the WWE they collaborate with us they if we have questions it's great they help us with footage I mean they're involved but it is a you know it's a Fox Sports produced show and what has it been like working with WWE on the show great great it's been you know just along with collaborating with them on Friday Night Smackdown. It's been a great relationship, they've been great partners. How groundbreaking is this show? Because FS1 is a national sports cable channel, and I don't think a show like this... Never existed. Right. Yeah, and, I, it, and it is groundbreaking, and, and to, you know, if we had the edict, hey, come up with a football show, come up with a baseball show, you know, there's a formula for that. You've got guys at a panel, you do highlights. There's no, there's no blueprint for this. So we started from scratch, and it's been, it's been really fun. And I think fans have reacted, and I think critics have been very kind to us. How special is this show to you? You know, I'm uh, more or less a lifetime, lifelong wrestling fan. So it's, it's a passion, and it's pretty cool to see it come to fruition from scratch, and, and to see people reacting when, when we see reaction on Twitter as we're going live, when we're trending, when people are live tweeting the show. I mean, it's extremely gratifying. We wanted to, we wanted the show to be relevant and part of the wrestling landscape. I think we've achieved that. Who are some of your favorite wrestlers you watched when you were younger then? Uh, Macho Man was my guy, uh, Roddy Piper, Jimmy Snuka. I, I always kind of gravitated towards the bad guys. <laughs> I, I was not a Hulk Hogan fan. You know, that's so interesting because because I would think too, when even just talking to you, that it would be more of the fan favorites and not the bad yeah. guys. You have this nice temperament no, about I used, you. My my mom would take me to the LA Sports Arena, and I I would be arguing with the adults behind me who were rooting for Hulk Hogan and uh, Tito Santana and Ricky Steamboat, and I'm you know rooting for Ric Flair and uh, yeah, she's please please son, be quiet. <laughs> 
Okay, and CM Punk, that was huge get for the show. How did you guys get CM Punk? What was it like having him on the show? Yeah, it was something, you know, we, we uh, his agent is a, we have a relationship with. He talked about it about a year before even the show debuted. Hey, he'd love to do something, and, and discussions kind of went along, and and it was something we wanted to do, obviously, and to to his opinions on the business obviously are so relevant, and he's not in the business, and I think for the good of pro wrestling, I think it's great to have him back and and have a platform where he can talk about wrestling. How surprised were you that it never leaked? Especially you know, this day and age. We kept it so quiet. It's a credit to him and his group. Um, it's a credit to his agency, and it's a credit to the people at Fawcett. And just, we kept the circle tight on, on that day. Renee Young was the only one on set. What made WWE so interesting and attractive to Fox and to FS1? You know, it's such an amazing combination of sports and entertainment. And, you know, as, as, as Fox is kind of rebranded after the Disney sale, live events are that much more important. And it was such a perfect spot when you have Thursday night football, Saturday college football, Sunday NFL, we needed something Friday night. And, and we had to get WWE to agree to move it to Friday because it actually changed their whole dynamic of their traveling schedule with Raw on Monday. Back then used to be on Tuesday. We really changed the dynamic of how their whole company operates. But it was the way it would work for us, and, and they were great partners to make it work. How do you feel the reception and ratings and just things like that for SmackDown on Friday night at Fox and also WWE backstage? Yeah, I think we've done, you know, every Friday night we do great in, in the ratings and in the demo that we're looking for. Um, backstage has is, 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 been great and, you know, sometimes uh, builds on the lead-in of a live sporting event, which is pretty amazing and says a lot about the passionate fan base. And, you know, to see... Uh, the way we've integrated in our other properties like NASCAR and NFL, yes. I think I think fans have been blown away how we've made it in essence mainstream. And that's the thing too because I noticed that right away where the NFL and NASCAR and these different shows. We'll, we'll come back. Okay.